hey guys welcome to my youtube channel once again i welcome you all you're all welcome to more is better youtube channel and please if you are yet to subscribe kindly click there on the subscribe button and on the notification bell so whenever i get close to something new you guys will be among the very first to get this notification and please like and share and comment whatever you think is on your mind to us each and every video i'm going to be posting okay today's video isn't all about cooking it's about um yeast infection how to cure and deal with yeast infection we are going to be using a very simple method which we all can use at home it's a very very simple recipe and if you're going to follow this procedure i beg of you to please always do a video Come back and put a comment if you tried it and if it worked for you. Um, so many ladies have tried this actually and they very give a very positive remark about this recipe I'm going to show you. And this helps also not only to, to cure yeast infection. It also helps to boost your reproductive system if you're trying to conceive to get pregnant. It helps you to get back your, your woman confidence, tighten part of part that your intimate parts, and it makes you look good down there if you know what I'm trying to say. And it takes away each fishy smell you have in down there. You know those fishy smell, those um discharge, those colorful whitish discharge. So that's all about we're going to be talking about today. So let's get started. I'm just going to be showing you the main ingredients that all right guys this is our garlic. Garlic is a very essential um stuff we use both for eating and I know you might not like the the, the aroma, the smell, you know, of garlic. But believe me, trust me, this is one of the best things you can use to cure that yeast infection. It helps you clean the stomach. If you want to clean your stomach, you want to flush those things, those dirty things inside the stomach. And if you want to get conceived, if you want to conceive easily, this will help you to clean your uterus and reproductive system. Those fishy smells is gonna take them away. So first of all, we're just going to peel these things, the back, and then we are going to wash and blend it so let's get started so we're just going to um peel this off you know yeast infection is something is very normal most especially in ladies but what is not normal is if you as a lady you are not worried about curing or you are not taking measures especially natural measures to take away this infection that is not normal you can't have your self-confidence i know you know your man may not be the type to tell you it's was for you not to pick offense but as a lady you should know if there's something really bad going on with your intimate parts so we are just going to be peeling this off we are peeling them off so as to have it this way then when we are done, we are just going to wash them and blend them with water. So, honeys, as you can see, we have our blended garlic right here. I washed it and then it's been blended. So I'm just going to pour this into, into a glass of coal, you know. I'm going to make sure I pour it into a glass of cup and mind you I'm not just going to drink this because if I want an effective and a very effective you know uh, impact I'm going to be adding onion and I'm going to be assisting this right into my intimate parts so I'm going to be adding honey Please do ensure to get a, a real honey because you know the only way to know fake honey is when you put it, you place it immediately dissolves. A real honey will settle under and it will be kind of hard to take off the spoon. So I'm just gonna turn this after having my honey. I'm just gonna keep turning. Guys, um, after I made my juice, here you can see my own is diluted under. 
so this you can drink it you and your partner you know if you're trying to cure yeast infection, it's very important your partner has to take a bit of it because it's very possible 70% that he might be also a partaker. So there is no need of you curing your yeast infection whereby your partner has it. And after curing it, you go back to intercourse and you're definitely going to get back this yeast infection. And then you'll be like, oh, I watched that video. I tried it. So it's not working. That thing is scam. No, not be scam. You need to take, you need to take them, and your partner need to take them. If you want to take this um recipe, I'll advise you to take it early in the morning before you eat anything, so that your stomach will be empty. You will just go directly to the work to the washroom, and in the evening before you sleep. So after we don't do this one, another thing when I go advise we say to get effective results. I'm going to be sitting, you see this thread, into this needle. Many of you go there and say, ah, this is the only needle don't do it for. What does she want to do again now? I'm not hurting anything. I'm just going to insert. Make sure this needle is please. It should be. And it should be sanitary. Uh, make sure the needle has to be clean. And after I'm sitting it this way, make sure it has to be long. I'm just going to take um, my garlic without passing it like as if you want so cloth. Just pass it straight. Be careful of your hand not to hurt yourself. The reason we are doing this is just to allow the thread to go through our garlic. So now that my thread, now that my thread is being through my garlic, I'm just going to cut off the needle. To make sure it remains only the thread so what am i going to do i'm going to have it this way in this case i'll be inserting this thing into the intimate part make sure you have it long and thick you have to tie it you have to tie this thing so that once this one is inside already once it's inside already You'll be able to take it out by drawing this, join it out together, by taking it out. You don't have to put too many holes, just take it straight so that by drawing it out, it can come out easily. And I advise you keep this for one hour in the intimate part, so you have to throw it off definitely after taking it out. So guys, this is all I have for you today. Please try this and come back and leave your comments, how it went well for you. And please, if you are with your partner, your actual partner, you know you have a partner, make sure to share this drink with them. Make sure to share it with them, okay? You have to share it with your partner. This doesn't only work for yeast infection. It cleans the stomach. If maybe your belly is tight, you want to release it, you can drink this. It also helps... If you want to be produced, you want to be much fertile, it opens the ovaries, makes it more fighter, so that when it comes with it comes um in face with the sperm, it's very possible that it gets you know what I mean. So please um subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a comment down there. Please share. Let's grow this community. Please share. Make one of the me so that I will always bring more videos. More videos. Not just entertaining videos, but videos when they give sense. When they get meaning. Not the only video when it just be like, say, they make person laugh. So please, and also make sure to clean your hands before you do everything. Like I always say, hygiene come first. And yeast infection, of course, can be caused by poor hygiene. Going with different partners can also cause this. So please, our ladies, be careful. And also to our men, I beg, be careful with the kind of ladies you go into for you not to transmit STD between ladies. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a family member that Eva Omorigas Shane is here for you. For you and for you alone. Thank you very much. I love it. You will meet again. Mwah.